Have to laugh, a lot of stuff going, bad stuff going on in this country, yes? yes. We need laughter, we do, right? I was listening to the, the radio last week, anybody hear this? State Department warnings now? Warning Americans, avoid any unnecessary travel to Pakistan. <laughs> Boy, are my kids gonna be upset. <laughs> That's it guys, our cruise to Islamabad has been canceled! <laughs> Pakistan on vacation. Did I miss that commercial? <laughs> Go to Pakistan and feel all right. <laughs> one goat, one lamb. Come take the family to Pakistan. Yeah! <laughs> Come swim in our sand. Play in a tunnel. Go to Bin Laden land. <laughs> What's their slogan for freaking packing? Once you come to Pakistan, you will not be permitted. I mean, you will not want to leave. <laughs> Fuck you. I wonder if they, I always think about this stuff. I think I'm like, do they, are their kids going to amusement parks there? I mean, in pack. Hey, Dad, can we go on run for your life? There's a great ride for you. Don't worry, it's only a backpack. Everybody off the bus. Brand new ride. You're going to love it. Bloody t-shirts over here, anyway? Bloody t-shirts? <laughs> Sick. All right. Uh, you know, we travel as comedians. I was in California recently. I love California. I was flying home from California, and I was sitting in coach. Very shitty. Agreed? Yeah. And I, but I was right on the border of first class, and the male flight attendant starts giving me free food and wine from first class. I was like, wow, this guy likes me. The guy next to me is like, oh, he likes you all right. It's like, what? Sure enough, I go to the back of the plane, the guy corners me. He said, when did you first realize you were gay? I said, when you fed me the lobster. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm not gay, I'm married, I have three kids. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. He said, would you ever consider it? I was like, I don't know, what's for dessert? <laughs> People do think I'm gay. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my hair. I don't know if it's the car I drive. Maybe it's just that every ensemble I wear is fabulous. <laughs> my wife takes me to a fancy Italian restaurant for my birthday. This place, not, it's so fancy you're not allowed to order your meal until you hear about a thousand specials. Have you been to this special shit? Are these really specials or is this just all the crap they couldn't sell the night before? You know what I'm talking about? It's like it, endless. And they give me this waiter. I don't even think he was really Italian. He was like, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For the main course tonight, we have a deep fried, sauteed, pan seared, oven roasted, Cajun grilled, black and tile fish, marchiata. Over the squidding linguine, he had a genovese, livornese, touch of mayonnaise. <laughs> Stuff with baby rock, shrimp, pork, tenderloin, veal ragu, baby rack of lamb, baby rack of ribs, baby's ass, baby's breath, tuna carpaccio, tuna on rye, half a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> Drizzled with the next try, 18 year old virgin, olive oil. <laughs> His sage, Rosemary and <laughs> In an angioplasty, cardio-clogging, arteriosclerosis tonight. <laughs> then my wife says, can you repeat that? <laughs> Here we go. The waiter's like, which one do you want me to repeat? She says all of them. She makes this poor guy repeat every special, then she orders a salad. <laughs> He's like, no problem, one Caesar salad, extra spit. <laughs> They do it, they do it! <laughs> See, there you get my pain in the ass mother sitting next to you. She's her, I don't know what I want. Everything looks so good. I'm like, Ma, come on, order, we're hungry. What are you getting? What are you getting? We're getting a fucking headache. What am I getting? <laughs> She's like, I don't want anything too heavy. The waiter's like, the one is not heavy, it's beautiful. Tell me which one are you like? Which one are you looking at? She says, how's the 12 cheese ravioli? <laughs> The one with the bacon and the cream and the Alfredo sauce with the melted mozzarella over the top, that one? Yes. Very light. <laughs> Very freaking light, you painted my balls. <laughs> Who brought this bitch in here? Very light, my ass, there's nothing light in an Italian restaurant. Even the menu weighs four pounds. <laughs> you see a heart next to the dish you're gonna order? Trust me, it's not heart healthy. It means it comes with a defibrillator. <laughs> Two hearts means call your cardiologist. <laughs> Just having fun, I have kids. Clap if you have teenagers. Three people, right? How old? 16. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got a 13 year old son. He's like, Dad, when I grow up, I want to be a marine biologist. He got a 47 in science. <laughs> He's a freaking moron, let's admit that. I'm like, the closest you get in the marine life is cleaning fish tanks in Pancho. <laughs> Wake up! They just diagnosed him with ADD. My wife's like, this all comes from your side of the family. This is your side, not mine. I'm like, my side? What are you talking about? We're great at math. <laughs> Believe him. She's like, idiot, it's attention deficit disorder. I was like, did you see my brown shoes anywhere? <laughs> Bullshit. You two are about 16, I got a 17 year old daughter. Ugh. Oh, daughters are hard, man. She's like a bobblehead. She's like a, she's always out of breath and she does nothing all day long. Always, it's like at the end of the, everything's the end of the world. <laughs> like what? <laughs> what? What happened? my own gas in the car. <laughs> Unfreaking believable. I'm like, which, are you freaking, she's like, you don't know how hard we have it. I was like, yeah, I really feel bad for you. What are you gonna complain to your grandchildren about? Like when I was your age, all I had was an iPad, iPod, iTouch, three cell phones, and my own internet tower. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> We were driven to school in a BMW, okay? It was hard. She's like, can I have $200 for lunch? I was like, just get a job. Just get a freaking job. She's like, Dad, school is a full-time job. I was like, yeah, your boss called and he gave you an F. I take her to dinner the other night. She brings a boy for this new kid. He's got... Four eye ri earrings in his eye, something through his cheek, two tongue rings. I'm like, Bob, what do you see yourself in four years? Genius. We're raising fucking genius. <laughs> Married, I just celebrated 24 years with my wife. That's cool. Thank you. She lets me do this crazy stuff. She surprised me for our anniversary. She's like, Eric, you're not gonna believe this. For our anniversary, I'm taking us to see Shakespeare. I was like, you're not gonna believe this. I'm not going. <laughs> She's like, come on, you're gonna love it. It's so romantic. Let me just give you a small taste of the shit I had to put up with. Two hours in it, I got it. <laughs> A curse shall light upon the limbs of men. <laughs> Your Mr. Fury and fierce civil strife shall come by all the parts of Italy. Bloody destruction shall be so in use and dreadful objects so familiar that mother shall but smile when they behold their infants corded with their hands. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Very romantic, honey. She's like, what'd you think? I'm like, what the hell are these guys talking about? Did they just speak English? I was so pissed off. I was like, 24 years? I get Shakespeare? I better get laid. That's all I'm saying. I better get some action later. That's it. So now we're driving home in the car. I'm like, plotting in my mind. I'm like, she likes Shakespeare? And I get home, I'm gonna do some Shakespeare for her. I am it, right? So I get home, I'm like, take off my jacket, and I'm like, me lady, come hither. Thou art the most fattest maiden in all of Selden. <laughs> Shall we perambulate to the boudoir and engage in some copious copulation? She actually looked at me and said, what the fuck are you talking about? She fell asleep, I got nothing. I was running around the bedroom. Felicio! Felicio! 